everyone. I got a real special fig for you guys today. This fig is called DN Manel, and it's a Pons variety. And Pons has a huge collection in Spain that I believe the Spanish government helps him out with, and he preserves a lot of Spanish varieties. This is one that came out of his collection that I believe is the same as, or it's at least very similar to Gris de Saint Jean, a French fig. This is a very typical leaf of Gris de Saint Jean. Very typical. It's an early, it's an early variety, guys. In at least in France, it's uh, mid-season to early. Um, it's got really, really beautiful skin. The interior is uh, on the redder side. Produces honey at the eye. And uh, this is what I believe to be the same thing, but this is called DN Manel. And you can see the fig here. I've already picked one uh, off of this tree. It was amazing. It was about an eight. Uh, I've also eat, I've also had one on here that I let ripen for quite a long time. Didn't have these bags on it, and the groundhog went to town on it. I didn't realize that the groundhog would be eating figs ever. This is really difficult to actually take off the tree. But you can look up Grise de Saint Jean or DN Manel, the characteristics of each tree. So you can go on Pons' website, or if you have his book, you can read all about this variety. Or you can go on Bode's website or many French websites because Grise de Saint Jean is a well documented French variety. So if you guys wanted to look up more about these two varieties, um, be my guest. I can't really comment a whole lot on the the qualities of the tree. I can only comment on the, the fruit so far. But it seems to be an early variety. Uh, this is without a head start this year, and DN Manel was maybe six inches tall for me at the beginning of this year. So it grew quite well. It put out three figs. I've been very impressed by the, the tree and the, the fruit. And it's very, very young. So... You know what, guys? Let me take a few more. Let's just look at the beauty of this fig for just a little bit longer. You can see that it's got these purple stripes as ribs, but it doesn't seem to be that ribbed. It's maybe more cosmetic. Um, this one looks like it was about to split. baby oh this is a definite clear sign of a real tasty fig you can tell just by looking at it guys Whew. so there is a ton of honey in here I mean a ton this thing's glistening like crazy this is a really really uh, popular fig if it's Grise de Saint Jean. Um, there's also a mother tree of Grise de Saint Jean in Prush Park in California. If you are interested in going to Prush Park, they have many fig varieties there planted in the ground and you can eat them probably right now. Let's try this one though. Wow. Jammy, very sweet. With all that honey, guys, it's real, quite a sweet fig. And there's some berry flavor in there that's on the complexer side. It is an 8 out of 10. It's one of the better 8s I've had. This is real good, I think. Uh, the berry complexity is pretty, um, really going to be well liked by a lot of people. It's also quite early. 
seems to do all right in the rain. I think it's probably on the, the worst side for dealing with rain, but nonetheless, really good. And you can get most of your crop here anyway before the rains really start to come in and ruin things. Beautiful fig too, that was really good. Anyway guys, that was D.N. Manel. And I encourage you all to uh, do your research. Look up Grease Day St. Jean, look up D.N. Manel. And uh, thank you for watching.